watch, U.S. Navy releases impressive video of North Korea-bound nuclear-powered carriers. Heading towards, the carriers USS Ronald Reagan, USS Theodore Roosevelt and USS Nimitz can be seen in the Western Pacific Ocean. The released footage of the three carriers sailing in formation together with their carrier strike groups. North Korea has continued with its development of a nuclear weapons arsenal despite international condemnation. After the rogue state's despot leader started a furious war of words with US President fears of the possible outbreak of intensified. US Navy ships were joined by Japanese and South Korean warships and, at one point in the video, B-1B Lancers can be seen flying overhead. The Western Pacific Drill, which takes place between November 11th and 14th, coincides with Mr. Trump's first official trip to Asia. The last time three U.S. carrier strike groups exercised together in the Western Pacific was in 2007. North Korea has warned nuclear war may break out at any moment due to reckless moves of aggression from the U.S. KCNA, Kim Jong-un state-controlled media mouthpiece, has in response to joint military drills around the Korean Peninsula by America and South Korea. The media puppet said, the joint marine drill around the Pekyong and Yeonfun Islands aimed at a preemptive strike at major targets of North Korea was a deliberate and planned military provocation to further strain the situation of acute confrontation. The situation of the Korean Peninsula is now on the worst phase of tension in which a nuclear war may break out any moment due to the US reckless moves for aggression on the DPRK. So, it is clear what a catastrophic phase such war games will bring. North Korea complained to the United Nations on Monday about joint military exercises by the United States and South Korea. Describing it as the worst ever situation because US could nuclear war equipment had been deployed ready to strike. In a letter to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, seen by Reuters, North Korean UN. Ambassador Yaf Song Nam said the United States was running a mock for war exercises by introducing nuclear war equipment in and around the Korean Peninsula. South Korea has said the joint drill, due to finish on Tuesday, was in response to North Korean nuclear and missile provocations and to show any such developments by Pyongyang can be repelled with overwhelming force. However, Ya said Washington was to blame for escalating tensions and accused the UN. Security Council of ignoring the nuclear war exercises of the United States who is hell-bent on bringing catastrophic disaster to humanity. The UN Security Council has unanimously ratcheted up sanctions on North Korea over its nuclear and ballistic missile program since 2006.